Good morning. Today is Sunday, December 6th. It's good to be back with you. Today is the second Sunday in Advent. And on our Advent wreath, we light last week's candle of hope and today's candle of peace. And as we light that candle of peace, let's pray for peace, for inner peace, remembering that a Savior was born for us, and for peace with others, remembering that we're all part of the same family, God's family. Do you ever at the end of the day think about what you've done during the day? Now, I think if I ask you to do that, you might say, well, I went to school, I did my schoolwork, I played at recess, I came home, I went to gymnastics, I went to a friend's house, I ate dinner, I did my homework, and I went to bed. I think lots of us could name many activities that we've done during the day, although I think since I retired, my husband sometimes wonders just what I've done all day. And I'll have to admit that some days it doesn't seem like much. I think many of us would say that our days are filled with ordinary activities. We might even say same old, same old. And especially since the pandemic started because so many of our more exciting activities have been limited. We probably think that we haven't done anything significant or important during the day. We certainly wouldn't say that our days were extraordinary. But I want us to think about that word, extraordinary. It means remarkable. But when you look at the word, it's really made up of two words, extra and ordinary is really like the base word. I think we have to realize that so many of the ordinary things that we do each day really can be extraordinary, extra ordinary. I want you to look at what you've done that you might think these things were insignificant, but maybe they were more. Think about the mug you might have given to a teacher and that each morning when he uses it, it brings him joy and starts his day off on a happy note. Think about a birthday card that you sent to a grandparent or a friend that might have cheered them up on what could have been a sad or lonely day. Think about a book you might have recommended to a friend. And that inspired her to read more books and to become a better reader. Maybe you smiled at the new kid at school or at church and it made him feel welcome and part of the group. Maybe you gave a compliment to someone on the painting that they did and it encouraged them to pursue that talent. So many of the things that we do might not seem important, but so many of these ordinary things really are extraordinary. They're some of the things that God uses every day to carry out his extraordinary plan. They're really like little puzzle pieces that God puts together to create the beautiful picture that he wants our lives to be. And we have to remember that these things need not be big to have a big impact. They just need to be done with faithfulness and with love. You know, most of us aren't celebrities or people that end up on TV with some special action or event that we've participated in. But we can all do things that are important in other people's lives. And I think it's just remarkable how God can take these little things and turn them into something extraordinary, something that's part of His purpose and his plan. In today's scripture, 
in Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 5, Mary and Joseph are traveling from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And as they get ready, they are probably doing some ordinary things. Even though we know that trip is going to um, end up with an event that is anything but ordinary. Think about the things that Mary and Joseph might have had to do. They had to pack their clothes and food and water for the trip. They probably had to get their donkey ready for the trip. And maybe they had to make arrangements for someone to watch their home while they were gone. It's all pretty ordinary things that were leading up to a very extraordinary event. We remember from last week's scripture that Mary was going to give birth to Jesus. We have to know that it's really remarkable that God took two ordinary people who had lived ordinary lives, but who had lived their lives with faithfulness and with knowing that God's purpose and plan should be carried out. We need to remember that God can do extraordinary things with our ordinary lives too. With the events and activities that we do and that others do, the acts of kindness and love, they all matter. They can all be extraordinary. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for all of the ordinary acts that people do in faithfulness and love. Help us not to miss any of the opportunities we have to carry out those acts. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you have a good week, a week filled with hope with peace, and with ordinary activities that can make extraordinary differences in our lives and in the lives of others. Take care. We love you, and God bless. Bye-bye.